Do you want to know a secret tip for how to get your baby to sleep? If your baby is a little fussy and you're having trouble settling them to sleep, one thing you can do is follow what a recent Japanese study said works for helping get babies to sleep and transferred into their cribs more successfully. The study said that you should take your baby, have them all swaddled up if you want to swaddle them, and carry them, holding them close in your arms in a cuddle. Walk throughout your home. It doesn't matter if it's up and down the hallway, back and forth, just as long as there's not a lot of sudden kind of starts and changes and that the environment is kind of quiet and conducive for sleep. After five minutes of walking, sit and wait for five to eight minutes. Keep cuddling your baby nice and close. They can feel your warmth. They can hear your breathing, they can feel your heartbeat, they can smell you, and these things settle and calm them. After about five to eight minutes, and you need to wait that whole five to eight minutes, you can then transfer them into their bassinet, crib, or cot. Hi, Leanne from Hamilton Family Doulas and Baby Bob, and we're talking about sleep. You want a really, really, really easy way to make your baby's sleep rhythms a little more predictable, I've got a tip for you. Pick a morning wake up time. Maybe it's 6.30, maybe it's 8.30, but a lot of people like 7 a.m. as a morning wake up time. Pick your perfect morning wake up time and then wake baby up consistently every single day at that time, even if they're sleeping. Say good morning, wake them up, and start your morning ritual. That might be a feed, cuddle, a song, a bath, or just simply a diaper change and a trip to the kitchen while you make some coffee for yourself. When you can establish a regular wake-up time, your baby's sleep cycles will naturally start to fall into a very consistent pattern that you can start to see and you can start to anticipate every day when your baby is ready for a nap. Now, these may shift around a little as your baby grows and their ability to stay awake a little longer and maybe learn to sleep a little longer all develop. But the start of getting a good sleep routine down is the wake up. And when you're waking a baby up at 7 a.m., you can start to think about putting them down for sleep around 7 p.m. Now, babies who are under four months old typically don't sleep all the way through the night. They may sleep for five hours, and that's technically through the night for a small baby. But they're usually not sleeping 8 to 12 hours like a lot of parents would ideally like. So, if you want to get closer to getting that nice long sleep at night, that consistent wake up and then consistent bedtime is going to help.